Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be continuing to work on the clutch and steering setup for the Ford off-road mower.
Okay, so now I've pretty much finished up the clutch linkages. I put the clutch spring in and I fixed up the steering linkage here. So what I did for the clutch was I used the same shaft that was here originally for the clutch setup and I just moved this connector piece to where I needed it for this. I just added a little tab on there to this clutch piece and then put a nice um, tie rod in there. All I had to do for that was put a new keyway into this shaft and then make that tie rod. This is a nice nice quality tie rod. There's no slop in there at all and it works really well. You can see when I press in on the, the clutch pedal here, um, it puts slack on the belt. See right, that belt's nice and tight and then you press it on the clutch and it loosens it up just like that. And eventually the brake will be attached to this same shaft so that as you push this in, it lets slack on the belt and then brakes as well. Because if I had the brake separate from this, it'd cause problems trying to brake but the belt still being tight. And that, that, would, that would ruin stuff. So eventually I have the brake attached to this same piece here. The other thing you saw me do with the shaft is originally the gas pedal was um, inside of this brake clutch pedal. So it had a little piece of the shaft going all the way through here and sticking out um, a couple inches. So I ground that off and pushed the piece back in so that it was flush with the brake pedal here and then it extended the shaft out on the other side of the frame here which lets me put the gas pedal on the right side of the on the right side of the frame and then still have the brake on the left just like you're used to. Of course the gas pedal isn't attached to this shaft um, it'll have the throttle hooked up to it independently but this sort of mounting system worked out really well for for this thing. The other thing is with the spring here I changed it a little bit from what you saw on on video there. Uh, all, I, all I really did was just um, move this attachment point up a little bit because the other one I had was almost touching this belt here and this is only a half inch belt I have in there for for reference I'm going to end up putting 5 eighths belts in so with the bigger belt in there it would have been rubbing against this spring so I just moved that up a little bit and now it, it clears that with some room to spare so that's pretty much the whole clutch setup like I said it works really well and I'm really happy with how that turned out the other thing I did was um, fix up this steering linkage here where it attaches to this cross piece. Originally there was um, a plastic type bushing that was in between this shaft and this cross beam here and it was just completely deteriorated and, and just, just ruined. So I took that apart and I made a proper steel bushing to put in there and that worked out really nicely. And the other thing you saw me do was I disconnected the um, steering gear from the shaft here because originally they were welded together I took it apart and made it so they can be detachable that allows you to take both of those bushings out and service it much more easily and also just allows you to remove this piece um, without having to take out this cross piece as well because before you had to kind of shimmy this out around this bend here and then shimmy this down through the bottom of the frame but now I can just take that that back gear off and this whole thing slides right up and out. The other thing you saw you didn't see me do on camera was I welded this washer around the base of this here um, to just make sure that this shaft wouldn't, wouldn't slide up and down because before it had a little e-clip around here that prevented it from moving up and down but with that, that bushing I put on there it kind of covered that up so I just put this washer on there that prevents it from moving up and down and this whole thing works much better now. Pretty much took all the slop out of it and I'm really happy with that. So overall I've been making good progress with the drive system for this. The only big things I have left to do is finish sorting out the transaxle and then I can get the belts in. Once I get those in I can figure out where I need to put all the belt guards and, and stuff like that so the belt doesn't come loose anywhere. And and then work on the shifter and that's pretty much it for the drive system. So anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.